today I'm going to showcase you my Tunnel 16 wall base, which defended six times against a clan that perfected us. It defended Root Riders, it defended Super Archer Clone Blooms, and E Dragons easily. Here is the war. As you can see, the opponent was able to easily perfect at us. They did it with nine attacks to spare. They actually started 18 out of 23. Because you can see here, look at how many of the bases they got on first go. Zero out of one, zero out of one. Occasionally a two. There's a six from Tony, seven from me, and then really not much else. So yeah, seven defenses. Well, six defenses. The seventh attack troubled me. Let's go through some of the attacks. This was the very first attack on me, as you can see, Root Rider spam with the triple overgrowth. Now, I'm just going to put this out there. This is quite an old base. Uh, I, I did not build it myself. However, I have trapped it. I've moved the sweepers around. I've changed quite a few things. I even changed the Invis Tower behind the tunnel to a Poison Tower. And it is a lot more effective this way. I do really like this base. It is actually primarily set up to stop... Uh, Super Archer Clone Blimps, there's a lot of really good Sams and Giant Bomb locations, uh, as you'll see in the next couple of attacks. So primarily, this works against Super Archer Clone Blimps, but it does do a really good job against Root Riders. You've got a nice Rage Tower in the core, then the Poison Tower by the Town Halls. You can see the spam attack's going pretty well here, but because on box spaces, you can't really overgrowth the core. You're going to be using your overgrowths on the Town Hall. The core put in a lot of work here. I was surprised to not see at least one overgrowth on the core, given that I uh, got three of them in this attack. But yeah, this was the... I don't know if I said it at the start. I think I did. This was the fresh attack here. So, you know, no surprise to get a defense. Now, interesting queen equipment there. Not running the Invis Vile. Going for a slightly more high skill uh, combination. And it did cost his queen's life there. But you can see pretty maxed equipment on this, uh, pretty high level. No haste vial, but that's not going to be the difference here. As you can see, that RC is 1 HP. And we're going to 4 times through the rest of this because there is no way this is going to get to the triple. I'll, I'll just prove it for you all here, quickly going through it. Get the rage, but the poison tower reloads, the monolith puts in work, and the king is not going to get through that. So that was the first defense. Somehow after this, we got an extra 5. Now that is the only Root Rider replay I'm going to show in this video. It wasn't the only Root Rider hit, it was just the only one that my base didn't make the attack look terrible, so figured I'd leave that in. So they tried, after giving up on Root Riders, they tried to come in with some Super Archer Clone Blimps, but you see we got the Sam set up, and we've got the Giant Bomb set up. So we got the Clone there, and goodbye. Most of the Super Archers go down here, slightly late on this Invis, but not too late. Just that the multi burns up the final two Super Archers. And yeah, there's no way this hit triples. Let's go into the next Super Archer clone blimp. And here is another Super Archer clone hit. I wanted to show it because it is quite different. We're going to be investing the Warden this time. Now, it's going to look like this NATO gets no value because the Warden kind of counteracts it. But keep in mind, they've hit my base a few times at this point. They know where the NATO is. So because the NATO is there, yes, this blimp does get into the core. But it forced the attacker to bring the Warden. If it wasn't for that NATO there, could have done that without the Warden ability. And then this is definitely a free three star. Now, you can see I'm running the Titan on this base. Um, that's an outdated CC request. I haven't changed it in a while. I would recommend running the Triple Ice Golem unless you know the uh, opposition clan loves Super Archer Clone Blimps. The Titan is fantastic against that. Otherwise, run the Triple Ice Golem. Now, look at the value. Gets a little lucky to take down the Poison Tower because the Ice Golem just stands in the perfect spot. But still, insane value, but had to invest the Warden and isn't going to get the Triple here. Now, if I'd gotten that value with the Super Archer Clone Blimp, I think I could have finished this off. Uh, I don't think the attacker does a great job here because you can see it kind of puts everything on the same tile. So not the perfect attack, but also got quite lucky with the Super Archer Clone Blimp to get the value it did. And I'm not going to complain about getting a defense. At Tamil 16, you need a little bit of luck. So I'm going to put this disclaimer as I put on every single base video. Because this defended 7 for me doesn't mean it'll defend 7 for you. Likely it won't defend at all, but it's a better chance using this base than using other bases. It does well, but you do need a little bit of luck at Tamil 16. And now finishing off with E-Dragons. And if you think 
This hit looks a little bit, uh, not sus, but it looks like the attacker kind of knows what he's doing. That's because it's his second attack on this base. This guy actually took three goes at me with E-Dragons, and only on the third go was he able to do it. So this is the second attack he's having to go at me with E-Dragons, because when I was the last base up in war, everyone with attacks left has to go after my base. And this is why I love this base here. Look, the sweepers are set up really nicely. They're not perfect to stop a Super Archer clone, but they push all the E-Dragons away from the center of the base here. And with the, not the dead zone, but the open space in between these two layers of buildings, the E-Dragons path horrifically here. They're in the poison tower of either the town hall or my poison tower radius. The core of the base is just barely staying up. The Eagle is still in action, so we have to send the RC through the core. But with no spells left, have a look at this RC get completely wrecked. Fox is down. We pop the RC ability with the Seeking Shield. Some Rage Skeletons come up as well. And yeah, the RC finished off the Eagle, so well done to her. But does not get nearly enough value. The Queen goes down as well. And this is going to be a defense. Now, I've run this base for a while. Some of the time, it, it does better than any other base I've used in War, honestly. But there are, there are times it's going to get fresh tripled. But I'm pretty happy with this base. Very happy with the outcome here. It wasn't enough for us to get the win. Uh, it, it did give us hope for a second that uh, we might not get perfected. But yeah, definitely got perfected there. The link for it is in the description down below. And for those of you who actually listened the whole way through this video, you'll get the benefit of me telling you, run Triple Ice Golem. Yes, in the video, I use a Titan. But run Triple Ice Golem. It is the best CC by far at Town Hall 16. But that's it from us. Please let me know down in the uh, comments below. What attack strategies you, do you want to see this week? We've kind of gone through every attack strategy in the game. I'm a little bored of Town Hall 16 at the moment. So I want some inspiration from you all.